this video we will find the moments of inertia for a semicircular area that is shown over here so we can see the lower part of the circle has been removed from the main circle and we are just left with the semicircle at the top now because the lower part is cut this line over here is no longer the centroidal axis because the centroid of semicircle will not be here it will be at some distance over here and the centroidal axis will also shift over to this location so this is the centroidal axis ixx so first we can easily find the moment of inertia about 1 1 axis and that will be equal to half of the moment of inertia of the complete circle because we are dividing this into two equal identical parts about the line of symmetry half will be the moment of inertia so we know that i x for circle is pi r power 4 by 4 and we will have to take half of that so which leaves us the value of i1 as pi r power 4 divided by 8 now we need to find the moment of inertia about centroidal axis i x here we will be using the parallel axis theorem which says that i1 the moment of inertia about any parallel axis axis parallel to the centroidal axis is given as the moment of inertia about centroidal axis plus the product between area and square of distance between the two axes let us say the distance between these two the x axis and 1 1 axis is d and that will be same as the value y bar that we had calculated while dealing with the centroid and we know that the centroid distance in case of a semicircle will be equal to 4 times r by 3 pi and the same will be equal to the distance d also here the area of semicircle will be half of the area of the complete circle and radius here being capital R the area of this circle semicircle will be pi r square by 2 half of pi r square substituting both these values here we get i x value as equal to i1 minus a d square i1 we know it is pi r power 4 by 8 minus area is pi r square by 2 and d we are uh, knowing here let us substitute 4 r by 3 pi square of that opening the brackets will give us pi r power 4 by 8 as it is minus pi r square by 2 into 4 for 16 r square divided by 9 pi square so 1 pi will cancel out here and 2 will cancel out with this leaving us 8 if we take the common terms outside and that common term being just r power 4 we get pi by 8 minus 8 by 9 pi and if we use a calculator to find this value that's almost equal to 0 0.11 so 0 0.11 times r power 4 this is the value of ix for a semicircle